Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a summer makeup routine. Definitely don't wear makeup every single day, but when I do wear makeup, I kind of go heavy handed because I like to go all out. I love doing makeup and it's always been something that I enjoy doing. So when I do wear makeup, I kind of go all out but for the summer I, I like to make my skin look a little bit more glowy yeah i've had a few requests for this so i figured why not do it i feel like i do one every summer so if you want to go look at my other summer makeup routine videos go ahead and check those out i think i have a playlist just for makeup so it's probably in there somewhere first things first i'm gonna crack open an alani new because i have been loving these recently and i need some caffeine to get through this so this one is the cosmic stardust i like to drink out of a straw too because my teeth have been getting super sensitive from drinking these so i'm now drinking out of a straw i am sitting in front of my window doing this so if anyone walks by i'm gonna get super embarrassed but we're gonna make it through also i have not straightened my hair in so long like probably two months and it looks so different i feel like i look like a completely different person also i cannot wait to dye my hair I like the dark for a little bit, but now I really want to go lighter. I just made my appointment the other day and I am so excited to get in. <laughs> I'm going to put on the OG headband. It's so cute. I always like to start off with my face and then I move on to eyes and then finish off with the lips. So that's the way that I'm going to do it today. And yeah, my face looks really dull. So got my little makeup bag here. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm kind of debating on which primer to use because usually for the summer, like I said, I do like to be a little bit more glowy, but I also have this new primer that I've only tried like one time and I haven't used it on camera and I kind of want to try it out for you guys just to get a second try at it. I don't know. This used to be super popular on YouTube like probably two or three years ago. I just hadn't tried it out, so I wanted to try it out. But I also have this one that I love, which is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This one is so nice. It's super glowy, and it just gives you like that luminous finish. But I've definitely used that luminous one in a video before, so I'm not going to use it today. I've decided I'm going to try out this Tatcha one again because, like I said, I've only tried it once. So I think you just rub it around on your finger. And this is supposed to be like pore filling, I think, which is really good because my pores have been crazy recently like i really need to do a face mask or something because i don't know how much product to use though it's very like velvety finish i can't really tell if it filled in my pores but and then another primer that i always use i have used this for as long as i can remember honestly and this is the professional matte rescue love this stuff so much yeah if you guys are curious i have oily skin i guess i wouldn't know if i would consider it oily I would say maybe combination like I have areas that don't get oily but they're also like not super dry so I don't know I mean in the t-zone it's oily especially around my nose but okay so for foundation I have two that I'm using because I'm like in that middle stage of being tan but also losing my tan so like a week ago I would have used just this one this is the peach perfect foundation this is in the shade light beige this is a little bit darker, but I have also used this one all throughout winter. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation, and this is in the um, it's number 150. I'm going to mix them because I'm kind of losing my tan. We'll see what kind of shade we can come up with. <laughs> I just like to put it on the back of my hand, so I'm going to do like squirt there. And as you can see, it's pretty light for my skin. This one I know is like really dark, so I'm going to try not to put as much. That's probably a good amount for that one. I'm just going to mix it with my finger. That one I probably should have like shaken or something. It was really separated. I'm just going to try it. Mm, that looks pretty good. Okay, I just like to dot it on one side of my face, blend that side in, and then do the other side. I might have to add a little bit more of the darker one because it is it looks too light but i can also just put bronzer on i always use a beauty blender so i'm just gonna blend this out yeah this is definitely really light Ooh. 
Okay, this is the foundation. I think I matched it pretty well. Looks good, not looking too bad, especially with that primer. I haven't tried that primer with both of those foundations together and I think it looks pretty good for the most part. Let's move on to concealer. So the concealer that I have been using for my like summer shade is the One Size Concealer. This is in the shade Fair 4. This is Patrick Star's brand. So I'm just gonna put it under my eyes. Ooh, this is kind of dark. I might have to mix in my lighter shade. It's the in-between that gets me. It's like, do I use my darker stuff or my lighter shades? I'm gonna do it on the chin, the nose, and my forehead. I'm gonna mix in some of my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. This is in the shade 325. I'm just gonna dab some of that right on top. And again, going in with my beauty blender around the eyes i like to take the concealer up on my eyelids just to prime my eyes for my eyeshadow i feel like this seems like so much makeup especially for summer but like i said i don't wear this every day and when i do wear this it's for filming or like a special event like Easter. I wore this for Easter. Usually when I am going to work or something and I want to do something super quick, I just do like concealer, bronzer, blush. I go comb through my eyebrows and then I do mascara. So I don't do this all the time, I promise you guys, but I just wanted to go all out for the video because sometimes I do this, so. Okay, I totally forgot to mention what I'm using to set my face. I have been using this for a very long time. This is the Kat Von D translucent setting powder. I just use my beauty blender and tap it into the top and put it in all the areas that I just put concealer on. I don't do it all over my face because I feel like it would just get super dried out and I would look like a literal ghost. I like to make sure I put it all around my nose because like I said, my nose gets super oily even when I do this, so. Then I just take my little powder brush and I set that all in and I just go around my whole face because whatever is left on my brush is going to set any places that I did not get with powder, so. Come we're gonna move on to bronzer and this one I have used again for so long I just love the color that it gives my skin and it sits really well it blends super easily so I just stick to it that is the physician's formula butter bronzer this is in the shade light just like to put some on my brush and I don't contour anymore. I used to contour a lot. I just don't feel the need to. I think bronzer does enough for me and I just don't want to use any products that aren't necessary. For this bronzer, I like to like take it up on my temple and kind of put it all over my cheek. I don't necessarily focus only like right here on my cheekbone. I kind of put it all over because it just blend super easily and i want it to look very very natural i like to do my jawline next just kind of run it across there and blend it down so it's not like super harsh or anything and of course my nose i don't do this super special either i kind of just take it all over my nose i have two blushes that i like to choose oh, actually i have quite a few blushes that i like to choose from so i have this one from mac this is in the shade uh, blush baby that one's really really pretty that's a matte one and then i have this one from burt's bees and this is in the shade bare peach i also like that one but one that i use the most often is in this benefit palette and this is i use this shade right here it has a little bit of shimmer in it and it's just a super nice pinky tone shade it's super pretty so I like to put that all pretty much right over the bronzer, maybe a little bit higher on the cheekbone, but 
that is where I focus it the most. I just love it, it's super pigmented and it just gives so much color to your face. And then I like to put it on my nose too, especially around the summer, just give you that like sunburn look. Moving on to highlighter, I use two shades. So the first one that I like to use is from the brand Sephora. This is the golden hour shade. So this is what it looks like. And I take my highlighter brush and I'm just gonna focus that on the very top of those cheekbones. I love the Sephora brand because it's not too expensive, but their products are honestly like really good quality and I love them. And I focus it on my nose, on the bridge of my nose, and then I'm gonna take some on my cupid's bow. I was actually gonna use two shades, but I think it looks perfectly fine like that because there was definitely a little bit of highlight residue left over on my blush brush because something that I also like to do is after I put my highlight on, I like to go back over just to kind of blend them together. So there was residue from my blush brush of a lighter shade of highlight. So it's kind of light, but I just need to wash my brushes. <laughs> Moving on to eyebrows. I have had the same eyebrow routine for a long time. And for that, I use the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. This is in the shade medium. Let's mix these two together, trace out my eyebrows and then fill them in. And yeah, I'll speed through this really fast because I feel like everyone has their own eyebrow routine. Whatever works for you might not work for someone else. are all done they turned out pretty good today which is awesome they love that <laughs> we're gonna move on to eyeshadow next i'll show you guys what i normally do so i'm gonna take my blush shade and just a big fluffy brush and i'm gonna sweep this throughout my crease just to get kind of like a base going like i said i don't like to do a ton of eyeshadow in the summer but i like to definitely add some dimension in there so I'm gonna take this shade first. Okay, so after that's on my lid, I'm also gonna take some and do it. Um, I'm gonna put it on my lower lash line as well, just to kind of match it up. I'm gonna move into this palette. This is from Kathleen Lights um, from ColourPop. And this is the Dream Street palette. So I'm gonna use the shade Elfish, which is this darker color here and I'm just gonna take a smaller more defined brush and we're gonna focus this on the outer corner all right this side is not looking too hot so I'm gonna take I just need to blend it out I'm gonna go back in with that blush color and we're just gonna lightly start blending this color out and just diffusing it so it's not as harsh and the same with the other side although this one was not as bad but it's kind of going on the edges of that shadow super light-handed as well as you can see it's not like super dark i just like a little bit of dimension in there and take that same shade same brush and we're just gonna drag a little bit onto the lower lash line to match it up again and what i like to do here is i kind of like to connect them so i'm just gonna take my brush and start working it up a little bit and just blending those two together so it looks like that. i'm gonna take this shade right here which is twinkle and just gonna use my finger and put this on the eyelid. I always say this, I think my finger works the best for this. I don't like using a brush. I think it just makes it go everywhere and it does not 
pack it on as well maybe i just have the wrong brushes but i've never found it to work well at all only for like highlighting my inner corner for my eyebrow bone but for the lid i don't use a brush ever then i'm gonna go back in with the big blender brush and just kind of diffuse any harsh lines I like to go back into this palette and I'm gonna take the highlight shade in here with a smaller brush. I'm gonna go do my eyebrow bone. In my inner corner. I'm just gonna take my finger and also highlight the inner corner because that's gonna brighten it up a lot. Then I go back in and blend this out. I am lightly going to go under here fast, like a swooping motion, and the fallout is gone. Before I do mascara, I'm going to set my face because I feel like sometimes if I do it after my mascara, it makes my mascara like fall onto my lower lid. So I'm gonna do some setting spray. This is the one size until dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray. I will let you know, it does smell exactly like hairspray. So it was definitely something to get used to. And it is a continuous mist, which is really nice too. And I feel like I don't need to, usually I have to fan my face, but with this, I don't feel like I need to at all. It's, it doesn't get wet, which is super nice. For mascara, I've been using this one from Benefit, which is the Bad Gal Bang Mascara. And you guys, I love it so much. I think it's such a good mascara. It is obviously a little bit more pricey because it's from like Sephora, but it is so good. A lot of people don't like it because at first it can be kind of watery, which I do see that. Like it doesn't make your lashes super big, but if you use it a few times, like it works really, really nicely. And I layer, usually I do like two layers on my eyelashes. That is the mascara after two coats. If you guys are looking for more drugstore brands, I also like these two from, this one is from L'Oreal. You guys have heard me talk about this before. This is the Voluminous Lash Paradise. I love this one. It's just really dried up. I don't really know why I still have it in here, but it's a good one. And then also this one from Maybelline New York. This is the Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. This one is also really good. They look very similar in packaging, but highly recommend both of these um, if you're looking for a cheaper alternative. And lastly, for my lips, I normally don't wear anything on my lips in the summer or really ever. Normally, I just use my Carmex chapstick, but today... For the video, I felt like putting something on my lips. So if I were to wear something, this is probably what I would wear. And this is from Maybelline. Um, it's a little lippy. So this is in the shade Baddest Beige. And this is what it looks like. Just gonna put some on. I don't know if I like it. It's super light. Maybe not a summer shade. All right, you guys, this is the completed look, my summer makeup routine. Again, not wearing this every single day, but when I wanna look cute and I wanna look a little bit more put together, this is usually what products I use. If you guys wanna see like a video where I do all drugstore brands, let me know because I feel like that would be really helpful for those of you who don't wanna spend as much money on makeup, which I completely get. I have honestly had these products for a very long time. I totally get it if you don't like spending a ton of money. But let me know if that's a video you guys want to see. I would love to do that. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Got some good product recommendations. If you enjoyed, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope you all have a good summer. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!